The church say amen. Amen. Say amen again. Amen. 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 We are just grateful to God for the privilege of uh, having such a gifted, talented group to sing to us and share with us in music and in song. We'll give God some praise. For
take another view. All of the speakers were outstanding. Uh, and of course, I was challenged when Michelle Obama gave her speech. She mentioned the fact that her mother had recently passed away and her grief challenged her. She was not even certain she would be able to speak. And yet, the same mama who caused the grief that challenged her also left a legacy that forced her to speak. For she was saying it was because of her mother's uh, legacy that she was compelled to do something. Her mother had worked too hard and others had worked to get us the right to vote. Her mother came from a generation and even generations before, people with my mother, uh, they, they had a different attitude toward voting than young people do today. That stirred up something in me that caused me to kind of uh, remember my roots, to remember uh, my legacy, remember all of those old people who worked so hard. You ever seen all the time, copying their pennies, trying to get enough money to buy some poll tax. Yes, sir. In Texas, they were doing everything they could to hinder black people from voting. Yeah. It, 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 it bothers me because you got young blacks now who say they don't feel like voting. It's, yeah. They don't lack the options. They don't particularly like our president. Personally, I think that uh, the president got a raw deal. I, I really had, I still have a bad feeling toward the way he was treated. It says something about our time. We don't mind just taking people and throwing them away when we've used them up. We like to point out other people's flaws, faults, faults. And, uh, but I, I still, I still was encouraged. I like what she said. If you have an urge to complain, her mama told them, "Don't complain. Yeah. Yeah. Do something." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. Don't complain. Yeah. yeah. Do something. Yeah. Yeah. I heard uh, the president. Barack, they start booing. Say, don't boo, vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't boo, vote. Don't, don't need all that extra stuff that's not going to harvest anything. Yeah, yeah. Vote. But he said, he said he, he lacked Coach Walls. Coach Tim Walls, uh, who runs vice president. I didn't, I didn't know the man. I, I, uh, I admit I have to fight hard to try not to be prejudiced. I'm kind of like Doug, you know, I offer some of that stuff. Uh, I like to think I'm a fair man. I like to think that I give folk a chance. But you know what? I really was positively influenced by that man when he gave his speech. It's a white man, Clint, with a white family, coaching a white team. And they were standing all there, white people, praising God, talking about love. I didn't see one black face, but I saw love. When he started talking about his family, it's the most important thing to him. Son started crying. You could see the love they shared. No black yeah. But I saw love. Yeah. Here's a man who, to me, demonstrated the Christian principles yeah. that we talk about. Yeah. It's the end time when a lot of white Christians don't act like Christians. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. A lot of folk who claim.
blame their Christians. They don't hold up for Christian principles and concepts. Uh, this is some Pentecostals criticizing Kamala's uh, address. Out of that like they taught you how to say Kamala. You know? and, and, and I'm listening to their criticism and I say, wow, it's amazing. They can see the fault and hurt, they couldn't see it in them. But, but I still saw God at work. What are you saying? I'm saying that you know what? When when God is in control, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we do what God told us to do, we can make the world a better place. So, 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 so when I got through, when I got through, when I heard all that, I saw that I was challenged not to complain, but to ask myself, what am I doing? To make things better. Yeah. Yeah. Not just complain about what others are not doing, but what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that's became me. This matter of sowing seeds that that you can do, you can talk what you want to talk. But the fact of the matter is, how many seeds are you sowing? To make the world a better place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many seeds are you sowing to yeah. demand things get better? Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't complain about uh, that there's not any seed because he says the seed is the word of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The seed is the same for everybody. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Everybody got the same seed. So you can't say you don't have any seed. Say, well, we don't have nowhere to plant. He said, well, you had, you had, he talked about four different types of ground. Yeah. You know, he said, but you know what? Uh, uh, you can't just throw up your hands and say there's no good ground. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had a way. I'm going to preach today. I don't care what you're saying. You, you, you are not only responsible for finding good ground, right. you are also responsible for making good ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I say, not only are you sowing seeds, you ought to be sanctifying salt. That word sanctified means to set apart, to set aside. It, it, it means that 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 you don't always accept Saul in the condition it's in presently. Yeah, yeah. But as saints of God, we're responsible to make the world a better place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you find stony ground, maybe you ought to be picking up some rocks. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had a bit of and, and throwing some of the rocks out of the dirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, ought, to, you ought to have a different attitude that that, 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 that the saw may not be perfect, but if I, if I do the right thing, if I could uh, uh, bring God with me to yeah. make a difference in a positive way, yeah. I can make bad saw yeah. good, good saw. Yeah. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. Let, let me, let me hear this close. I, I, that's the sermon I'm through now. But let me look at this, look at this hopeful expectation. Uh, yeah. Hopeful expectation. Uh, a lot of people are not hopeful because things look so negative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It seems like hope is lost. Yeah. 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 First thing Michelle said is that we got some new hope. Yeah. Yeah. Hope, hope, hope. It's amazing how when Kamala uh, was announced as the person, everybody started getting all positive. Like, I don't like the way y'all think president. But, but at the same time, it was good to see hope again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why, why is it? Why is it? Some people can be so negative on one hand, and all of a sudden you get hope again. Yeah, yeah. And I thought about that, that biblical principle about sowing seeds, and it was. I was looking at one thing, see, it's impossible 
for a farmer to plant a seed and not hope for a crop. Yeah, yeah. 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 See, 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 if you didn't have any hope before, once you plant that seed, yeah. 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 come on, here, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. That, that seed creates some hope. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm hoping for a crop. I'm hoping for it to come up. I'm hoping that once I plant that seed, I will see some result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wish I had a witness yeah. Yeah. And then another thing I was looking at, and you got to understand, is that there is no way that you go around planting seed yeah, yeah. and know all of the results. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'll miss you. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't. See, now, I got to probably keep always planting one seed in one spot. Yeah. 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 And even when you do that, you still don't know all the results. But, but a good form, you like don't just play in one place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He don't play. He, he don't play in just one location. He doesn't play in just ground that look good. Right. He play in all of it. Some was on good ground. Some was on stony ground. Uh, some, some, some had had shallow ground. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter uh, the condition of the ground. He's still throwing seed. That you can't be all that choice about where you throw the seed because some ground you think may not be good. But God can do more for your hands. God can do marvelous things with, with, with ground that don't look so good. Yeah, yeah. God yeah. can do the unexpected with ground you don't think is all that. Yeah. And, and, and once I plant that seed, I got I got some hope, I got some expectation. And, and I gotta understand that, that when I'm planting seed, it's not my job to decide how the crop's gonna come out. Oh, happy holy when I plant that seed, man, I, I'm excited because I plant that seed and I don't know what's going to come out. You, you know, some of y'all are some, some crops from some seeds some other folks plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go from the deep in the north. But they never had any idea you would turn out the way you turn some of y'all functioning now in capacities that they never thought were possible, but they planted the seed anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't always tell you how the results gonna turn out, but I can do my part and plant the seed. The more we plant, the more crops we can expect, the more we plant, the more we can hope for. And if you don't have any hope, maybe you're hopeless because you aren't planting anything. I listen to them every Sunday. Do we have any visitors? And as a direct visitors you have, and how many people you invite to church? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can tell, you can tell, you can tell, you can tell, you can tell who's been planting some seed. Because they said, do we have any visitors? Some folks start looking around. And then some folks just look down. Oh, I had a witness here. If you haven't invited anybody, ain't no sense you looking around. Yeah. You don't expect no visitors because you haven't invited anybody. Yeah, you don't yeah. expect anybody to be here because you didn't ask anybody to come here. Yeah, yeah. But when you've been inviting folks, you expect them to see somebody. Right, right. I don't know who's going to walk in, but yeah. I know that's I don't know who's coming, but I know they ain't an invitation. I don't know who's going to show up today, but I'm sure hoping somebody come today. Yeah. You know, even if you didn't ask, Somebody ought to be praying for somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And I didn't ask nobody myself, but I'm sure praying somebody asked somebody. So somebody will show up. Yeah. Go ahead and put this here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And another thing about seeds, you can't plant seeds and expect quick results. Amen. That whenever you plant seed, then there's a, a waiting period. Yeah. And you can't rush the waiting period. Huh? It takes a certain amount of time for that seed to germinate. It takes a certain amount of time for that seed to go through a process before it's even conditioned enough to bring forth a crop. Oh, Come on here. You can't, you can't have sex with your wife tonight and expect her to give you a baby tomorrow? Right. Yeah. Yeah. You got a real yeah. <laughs> That's good. I'm so great. Oh. 
But, but, but the thing is, is that, is that before, before things happen, I know that, that, that egg has to fertilize, that, that be fertilized by that sperm. And, and, and even that takes some time. Yeah. After that egg is fertilized, it's going to take nine months. Yeah. It's going to take nine months. It's going to take nine months. Might have an early pregnancy, but they call them a premature baby. Yeah, yeah. But normally it's gonna take nine months. Yeah, right. Amen. The baby comes premature, you still got to do some weight. Yeah, yeah. You live in an incubator, you want to be by the, in that ICU unit that, that some adjustment has to be made. Why? Because you don't get quick results from planting seeds. When you plant seeds, when you want results, it's gonna take yeah. some time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish I had a witness. Why, why is it that I'm expecting God to give me quick results? And, and, and I am being planted to see. Huh. How you finally plant a seed and you don't result? Well, I invited somebody, but nobody came. Well, you got to keep on doing what you're doing. Yeah. You got to keep on sowing. You got to keep on planting. You got to keep on throwing it out that, that if I keep on doing what God told me to do, yeah, yeah, yeah. then I can expect the results God told me He would give me. Do I have a witness here? Well, my brothers and sisters, uh, that thing works good in that political arena. It, it helps me that, that I, I, can, I, can, I can see if I do more, I can expect more. Yeah, yeah. If I yeah. do more, I can expect to receive more. If I want the world to be a better place, I got to do a better part, my part, in making it so. Yeah. It definitely works in the spiritual world. That if I want a, a, a stronger spiritual life, I need to plant more spiritual seed. Yeah, yeah. How can you expect for God to produce his word in your mind, in your heart, and you don't ever open up the word? Yeah. If I want to memorize the word, it seems like to me I ought to spend some time reading the word. If I want the word to be a part of my life, yeah, seems like I need to start planning some of his word in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if I want to start growing spiritually, it seems like to me I should do the things he told me to do in order to grow spiritually. Do I have a witness here? Once I start planting the right seeds, I can expect to receive the right crop. Yeah. Amen, amen. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. Not only do I see hopeful expectation, but I also see uh, hearing ears yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and healed eyes. Yeah, yeah. Hearing ears and healed eyes. The seed is the same, but the soil is different. Hmm. All seed is the word, but all the soil is different. Hmm. He gives us four kinds of soil. He said there's an indifferent kind of soil, there's a shallow soil, there's a cluttered soil, and then there's a responsive soil. And even when you get the good salt, the good ground, yeah. it still is not going to produce the same. Some produce hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. So there's, there's not a whole lot of sameness there. But the thing is, is that is that we are told to do what we are supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. Why, why, Jesus, why do you teach his parables as the disciples ask? And he says, I do it because some people have eyes, but they can't see. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 they have ears, but they can't hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have a witness here. Yeah. Jesus said, because you have eyes, don't mean you use them. Yeah. Yeah. Because you have ears, don't mean that they are working, that, right. that you can have the power, but it's not doing the right part. It's not playing his part. Yeah. It's just, it's some ground, some ground is just indifferent. It, 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 it's, 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 
It's like you plan it, but, but, but there's so much going on, they get distracted. You know, the word is planted, but your, your mind is going in too many different directions. You, you can't focus on the word. You're so busy focusing on other stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah. What are you going to do after the benediction? The game is on at a certain time. Right? Got to get the top of those on the right? track. Got to get home on that. They got a party today. I got I to go buy a dress. There's, there's always something that can distract you from focusing on that which God has planted in your life. You can't expect to be indifferent to God's word. You can't expect to put everything ahead of God and then wonder why God is not more uh, 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 obvious in your life. That, that if you keep putting God on the back burner, pretty soon the back burner is going to go out. You can't cook food keeping it on the back burner. You got to bring it to the front.
He said, but some fall on good ground. Yeah. And the good soil will bring forth bountiful fruit. Mm -hmm. He said, the good soil will bring forth identically the same, but it will bring forth some fruit. Amen. Good soil have eyes that see and ears that hear. Good soil has been set aside, sanctified for Christ. Good soil helps us to seek and to save those that are lost and hopeful. Yeah. Good soil uh, helps to make the world a better place. Yeah. I'm looking for some good seed planted in some good soil. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. How you feel today depends on where you fall in this sermon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a planter? Do you have some seed? Uh, yeah. Have you been planting your seed? Uh, oh. Are you complaining about the condition yeah. of the soil? Are you trying to make the soil just a little bit better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you trying to make the world a better place? Right. Or are you just doing the things you do? Huh. Yeah, well, uh, the thing is, Jesus tells us that there is a way to bring about increase. Be a good sower. Sow the seed and look for some good ground. Yeah, yeah. And if you sow your seed, you can have some hope in your life. You see, I'm not placed here to count how many seeds you plant. I'm not placed here to find out how many seeds they plant. I'm here to count how many seeds am I planting. Bethany has no business counting North Park seeds. We got to ask how many seeds are we planting. No sense in you trying to ask how many seeds the white folks are planting. You need to find out how many seeds are you planting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why we don't have some white members here? Maybe it's because you haven't planted some seeds yeah. in some white ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta find out that uh, the world can be a better place mm -hmm. if we'll just do what God told us to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my clothes on harmonize the ends. That uh, we've got to work together to make the crops that God wants us. To produce yeah, come to yeah. fruition. Yeah. Good ground res responds favorably to good word. Amen. And if we will do what God told us to do, we can bring forth good crops. Yeah. Good ground uh, will respond to good word. Yeah. If I can just plant the seed, then I know. I can get the results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There ought to be a hungering and thirsting after righteousness. Yeah, yeah. Come on now. If I'm hungering and thirsting after righteousness, I'm going to do the right thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do my part. I wish I had somebody who, who really got some hope in your heart that, that tomorrow is going to be a brighter day. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got some hope in your soul because you've been doing that which God told you to do. Yeah. Amen. I keep planting seeds, but I'm still waiting on the Lord. Yeah. yeah. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. Do I have a witness here? Yes, sir. I was looking, I listened to oh, uh, the planners this morning. He was talking about. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's amazing when somebody says something kind of makes you focus. The joy of the Lord hmm. is our strength. Yeah. So, well, maybe that's why we got so many weak Christians. Hmm. I wish I had a witness here. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we don't have enough Christians who are enjoying the joy of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. A lot of Christians are weak because they think they're doing God a favor right. when they frown like they're sucking on a lemon all yeah. the time. Yeah. Yeah. 
You think you're doing God a favor when you look like you're at a funeral on Sunday morning. Yeah. Yeah. I heard him say the joy of the Lord yeah. is my strength. That, that if I, yeah, if I, if I just uh, keep it enjoying the joy. You know, joy is one of the fruit of the Spirit. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Love, uh, yeah, peace and joy. That, that if I can just have some joy in my life. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, I stop. I stop trying to promote a whole lot of seriousness uh, and spend more time promoting joy. Because y'all serious enough, y'all too serious. Uh, so serious, you're sad, uh, but you need some joy in your life. Yeah. You know your face would look better if you spend more time smiling yeah. instead of so much frowning and crying. Uh, if you just had some joy in your life. Yeah. Yeah. church would be more exciting if folk act like they had some joy in their soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was out glad. Yeah. Come on here, somebody. Yeah. When they said unto me, uh, let us go uh, into the house of the Lord. Yeah. yeah, if I got some joy, yeah, you know, it'll give me some strength. Joy will pick up my spirit's yeah. joy. Yeah. Make me feel better. Yeah. Joy will make me walk better. Yeah. Joy will make me look better. Yeah. Joy will cause me to see more positive yeah. and less negative. Yeah. Yeah. Joy is contagious. And the more joy I have, the more joy I'll try to spread. Yeah. Then as I heard to the close, I see that good Saul is all a longing for the meaning of a right purpose. Yeah, yeah. Good Saul Paul, is always trying to do the right thing. But I noticed something else that faith demands uh, that we keep on sowing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't claim you're a person of faith uh, and yet you don't have faith enough to plant some seed. Oh, I wish I had a witness here. Yeah. You see, if I don't have faith, Alan, I, I'll just assume that the crop ain't coming up before I even throw it down. Yeah. But faith says, uh, I just believe uh, that I'll do what God told me to do. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. God says you need to sow the seed. Yeah. Notice he didn't say evaluate the ground. He didn't say if you see some part of the ground that's not any good, uh, keep your seeds in your pocket. Uh, yeah, but he yeah. said you're responsible uh, to sow the seed. Uh, you've got to have faith that if I plant it, uh, it will come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I keep planting enough seed, uh, I'm going to receive the right kind of crop. Uh, and if I receive the proper crop, uh, yes, uh, the crop will automatically magnify and glorify the name of the Lord. Our history demands that we keep on planning. Uh, don't be like those who said, well, uh, yes, uh, things are so bad uh, over in uh, the other countries. Uh, people are being killed, babies are killed, and, and parents are being murdered. Uh, I'm not going to vote in the next election. Uh, well, uh, my question is, uh, how does that have anything to do uh, with your responsibility? Yeah. Yeah, how does the Gaza Strip uh, has anything to do with your responsibility uh, to plant your seed? Yeah. Uh, how does the Gaza Strip have anything to do with your divide uh, of voting for the right side? Yeah. How you're not voting for the right side uh, really is not your way of uh, helping the wrong side. Uh, Seem like to me uh, our history demand that we keep on planning, uh, that we keep on uh, marching, uh, that we keep on working, uh, we keep on doing what we can do uh, to make the world a better place. Uh, yes, uh, you claim uh, your forefather was all that. Uh, well, think about this: you are the only crop that they have. Uh, yeah. If you are not producing uh, their efforts, uh, yes, uh, sowing in you uh, is all in vain. Yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, the only crop they have uh, is going to come from people.
people like you. So you got to do all you can to give them a better chance. Yes, I want to make the world a better place by being a better person. By doing more and more in yeah, yeah. the name of my Lord. So if you're here today, before I close, I want to just share with you, sow some seeds. Yes, sanctify some soul. Do all you can to make the world a better place. Do what you can do. Do what you can do. Do something. You may not be able to do everything, but you ought to do something. Don't just complain about what's wrong, but do something. Make the world a little bit more positive uh, because you've been planting some positive seeds uh, yeah, yeah. and if you can do what you're supposed to do uh, just wait on the Lord uh, yeah, stand yeah. back uh, and wait on the Lord uh, but guess what uh, while you're waiting uh, throw some more seed uh, while you're waiting uh, find some more salt uh, while you're waiting uh, find some good ground uh, while you're waiting uh, find some more hope uh, but keep hope alive, keep hope going. The more you plant, the more you can expect. Well, there is no more ground as long as there's a hell and people are going to hell. Then there's some good ground that could use some more planting. As long as somebody don't know Jesus, you can tell somebody about Jesus. As long as there's anybody. You had not heard the good news. You can tell somebody, I got some good news. He don't need to spread the bad junk. He don't need to spread a whole lot of gossip. He don't need to spread a whole lot of negativism. He need to spread the good news. Good news. What's good news, Haynes? The good news is that a long time ago, God so loved the world. And he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever, look at somebody and say, whosoever, whosoever believes in him, whosoever has faith in him, whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life.
All your joy is gone. Jesus, you're the same. 